Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. How are you? So I believe you guys know about Legos. So um, here I'm holding here right now. This is a single brick that I made out of Lego. It's one by one bricks, and it's so small that the audience can't even see it. Can you see it? Uh, of course. But it's so small anyway. But ladies and gentlemen, do not let these small skills fool you, because this is a very, very powerful tool to unlock your creativity within you. Hi, my name is Benjamin. I'm from Malacca. And I'm a maker designer from Bricks Maker Division. I specialize in doing maker design that made out of Lego parts. And I design things like simplified design Legos for maker robots, futuristic, complex, and hangers. But most of these makers that I, that I mentioned here has been, put, has been featured in media platforms all around the world by Lego communities, such as Blogs by Brother Bricks, Brick Vaults in YouTube, and Bricks Journal magazine, which featured two of my maker designs on their covers twice. Today, I just want to share with you all about behind the scene. Actually, you all saw my works on the slide already. So you always ask the question that, how do I design it? How do I make it? What inspired me? So I'm here today to share with you all the steps. And hopefully, your audience today can be able to pick up one or two things from here and able to inspire your kids or yourself to use Lego as a medium creative parts. So here's a scenario. So one day, I received an email from New York, USA, by a guy called Mike Doy. He's a Lego artist. He has published many books featuring Lego artists for all around the world. And he happened to saw my works in Flickr account. So he was asking if I could contribute something to his book by the new titles called My Beautiful Lego Tree. Wow. So it's been a decade I have been designing maker robots. So I never ventured beyond than that because inside, it's something new, right? So I never ventured that. So instead of replying back to him saying no, I just say yes. Why not? Because I wanted to see myself, I want to challenge myself, see how much I can contribute to an insect design. Because I have been designing maker robots, very, very complex, very sophisticated, very co complex. There is so many things going on there. But to build it into an insect that is so small and simplified. So it's a big challenge for me. And besides, I want to come out from my bubble zone, so why not? And I reply back to him and say, um, OK, I'll do it. But I'll choose my subject matter already. But can you guess what's the subject I'm going to design? Take a guess. Is it insect, anyway? No? B? No? No, no. No, no, definitely not Star Wars. <laughs> OK, I'll give you a hint. It's quite shy, so we'll hide when you guys are around. But when you guys are not around, he'll come up. And the best part, if he likes you, he'll fly towards to you. No la. Can you guess? No, it's cockroach. <laughs> yes, it's cockroach. Um, reason why I choose cockroach, I'll tell you the end of my speech. Okay, this cockroach known as Siu Kyung or Tai Kyung. It's a very sophisticated insect, so I'll tell you the reason why I choose it later on. Okay, first step, I already know my subject matter, right? So I know it's cockroach. So first thing first, I'll look at images. Why? Why images? Pictures. Because you can search many details on by looking at images. Because nowadays, we are so easy to access by looking at images through your phones, your laptop, your iPad. So easy to access. And the best part by looking at images, you study your subject. You study how the shape forms like, like for example, the whole body. Oh my god, no, hold this. <laughs> you study the subject of the body shapes, from the head to the toe. And the best part, you got to study the internal and external parts. For example, the legs, how the legs hold the body. In terms of Lego, you got to think about that. So it makes you curiosity, it makes you think. And the best part is in color, because Lego parts got so many colors. So you have to make sure that the cockroach color is available in Lego parts. So in this case, it's brown. But you don't see cockroach in white color, right? There's no white cockroach at all. So color-wise, it's very important there. So by looking at images, it helps you as well. So after looking at images, what I do next? Normally, I will go into sketching. Why sketching? Because as a designer, as me, I have so many thoughts in my head. I visualize things in 3D. So I want to visualize all the 3D in design into my sketching result. Reason why I can sketch is that it allows me to let my creativity flow. And the best thing, sketching does not restrict your creativity. It allows you to express your design. And that's the best part. And besides sketching, you get to learn the technical design. Then you start to think about which part of Legos can use to support this body, or the shapes, for example, the curved parts, especially the wings. So by sketching, it's very good. 
Good as in like, it's very cheap, it's very easy to access, it's just paper and pencil, that's it. It doesn't cost you a lot of money. So try to use sketching. Then when it comes to sketching, I'll go to the next part, which is prototype. But I will not go into the details of prototype. Reason why is that so many things going on there, and I might bore you to death. So the best thing about a prototype is that, first thing first, make sure your design, the core, the core of the building itself is strong enough to hold the design, regardless it's big or small. Because why? All the time, all your kids, your friends, or your grandfather will come and touch your creations. And the best part, when they hold your creation, you do not want to see it falls apart. So you have to make sure your design, in terms of everything, inside is a very, very strong design build, core, just like how our human body works. You see, our body works by our skeleton, hold our flesh, our muscles. So this thing, so you have to make sure that your design is very strong and firm. And in this stage, prototype is very, very important in terms of design. Like, for example, when I build it halfway, I have to make sure that the design shape of cockroach is six legs, not eight legs. So I have to double check. And the best part is we have to make sure that the design, for example, the head is not too big or too small. And besides prototype, at this part, when I design it, I lay whatever parts I have in my hand. It doesn't matter if the part is not in line with the colors. I can mix and match. Reason why that, in the end of the day, once I'm confirmed with the design and I'm comfortable with it, I can replace the color parts later on. So at this stage, it doesn't matter if it's colorful or not. Just put it on first, because you don't have to worry about the details, because you just have to get the right shape at the same time. So when you come to prototype, what the next step you, you do? For me, I will get feedbacks. At this stage, feedback is very important. Try to go to posts in your account, Flickr's, or Facebook perhaps, or Lego community. And the best part, if you join your local community group, it's best. Why? The best person to tell you the ideas is Lego people, or people who like Lego design. Because in the meeting, in the community groups, if you go there, they will tell you the design. Because I, as a designer, when I look at my creation, I always thought that it's perfect, there's nothing wrong to it. And you need a second pair of eyes to help you to judge. Or maybe the best part, when you come to meeting with these good people, you will tell you things like tips, like say, hey, maybe you can use this part to enhance your builds. Or maybe the head is too big. Things again like that will help you enhance your creation. And the best part is free. It's not charging you anything at all. So don't be afraid to join community clubs in your local. And the best part, try to use the feedback as much as possible, because this is where you learn a lot. It's nothing that is very hard to learn. And next. Once the prototype is done already, I'll finalize the design, the shape, everything. Then I'll finalize the colors. I order parts mostly for online. So once the shape, everything is done, everything, especially with the wings itself, I start to take a nice picture and submit back to him, my drawing. And then in the end, this cockroach is as big as a keyboard. Yeah, it's very big. It's that big. I don't know how it ends up so big, Pai Kyung. So it's almost Yu Kyung. It's so big that. When I bring it to my office, auntie and uncle scream. <laughs> they scream. Uncle never screamed girl like before. No? So it's, it's that convincing that when I build this thing, it's so real that everybody starts to run away or threaten me, saying that if you put this thing on my table, I'm going to smash it. <laughs> I don't care it's Lego. I don't care you cry. I'm going to smash it. Don't put it there. That is how convincing is the design is. And back to my question, why I choose cockroach? Can you guess why? That's why you give the answer, right? Because everybody wants to see things that you are familiar with. You like butterflies, you like things that is, you're familiar. Butterfly, mantis, or even uh, ladybugs. I don't want to create things like people want to see really, because that build has been built all over again. So many people build. Why must I build the same thing? It doesn't make any sense. So I build things that nobody likes. And the best thing, when I create this Siu Kyung, sorry, Tai Kyung, <laughs> is that I want to make people surprised that, oh, it's made of Lego. Because nobody can think that this creation I made is made out of Lego, you see? So I want to convince people that Lego can create anything, anything impossible. So the best part is when I create this one, people's reaction is very good, especially the screaming. So the best part, that's the best part, really. <laughs> and at least it convinced me that, okay, this is really Tai Kyung. So before I end my speech, right, I just want to say something that, based on my experience, when you create something, especially in Lego, or every day in your life, don't be afraid to fail, really. Because when you fail, it lets you down, yes, but you just don't stop there. You just keep on building it. Reason why, you will not learn anything from success. From success people or success design, you learn nothing like that. Because why? You only see the end of it. That's a success. What you never learn is from behind of it, the struggle behind the scene. 
What have I learned? What the structure that I need to face, the problem? Things like that. You learn a lot from failures than success. And don't forget, such failure is the seed of success. And I'm standing here right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's based on my many failures in building it, frustrations and hours that I spent, money. And that's the reason why I'm standing here right now. It's based on that. So don't be inspired by things, like beautiful things you see. You have to learn something from it. That's the thing is, you've got to catch the behind the scene. That's where you learn a lot, not the end of it. And most important, I choose cockroach is because I like cockroach. Anybody like cockroach? <laughs> Hands up. Okay, I give up. <laughs> yeah, no, again, it's back to my track again, just saying that I want to build something different. So I build something like mosquitoes or things like that. It's so disgusting that nobody likes it. So I try to build something different. So be different. Try to do something that nobody expected it, you know. Things like, oh, this is made of Lego, you know. So Taekyung, that big. If it can move by itself, it's even better. But at this stage, the wing can open. So I have to study the wing. So imagine that. So when it comes to creation, I have to study so many things by looking at images and by doing sketching and by doing prototypes. And of course, feedbacks. So all these things, elements, I hope you guys can pick it up. So most important, do not look down on yourself in terms of design. Everybody got creativity, I believe. Everybody is. It's nobody, not everyone's stupid. So try to be courage, try to pick up something. So don't be afraid of failing. That's what I'm trying to say here today. It's not, I'm not trying to say about my success. It's about failure. Try to learn failure. Try to be af don't be afraid of it. Try to embrace it. And especially don't look down on yourself in terms of creativity. And especially this little thing called Lego, these small bricks. I'm Benjamin. Thank you.